Hello, this is Mystic Jen. I am here with a client reading. My client had ordered the nine card Fox Lenormand spread and she wanted to know about a guy that she was involved with. She wanted to know if he's worth waiting for. Apparently, um, he told her that she was too much for him or so, to something to that effect. So I'm going to take a look to see what the cards have to say. Oh, my cat keeps wanting to come in here and I don't want her in here. Her or her brother. Anyhow, I am using, I was drawn to the Celtic Lenormand. And I was on my way home today and trying to fit, deciding what Lenormand deck did I want to use. I have several. And I didn't decide until I just opened my drawer a few minutes ago and Classical Norman was sitting there staring me at me and say, saying, me, me, me. So, we're going to shuffle here and take a look at what is going on in her relationship. And this reading is available in my Etsy shop. I will have it in the description. The website is very easy, www.mysticgen.com. Okay, the center card wants to fall out, and it's it's really funny. It, the card that falls out is the woman card. So I know that that's just telling me, yes, I choose the right deck. I chose the right deck. And she's going to be in the center of the spread. And the bottom card wants to come out. So... I am going to start. Uh, the cards are telling me stop shuffling. The man spread is right above her. Answer the phone. I'm doing a reading. Sorry about that. I tell my stepson to answer the phone. Both snake cards. See, this deck here has multiple snake, has a couple snake cards, has a couple tree cards, a couple birds. It has some extra cards. Both snake cards are in this. So, okay. Um, the way I'm going to read this is um, we have you in the center and we have the opening as the garden, the garden or park. It's a big feast. It's a big celebration. It's a, um, a public event. Okay. And there is the man card representing the gentleman that you were talking about, but he's looking at the snake, the snake ready to strike at any moment. So, I feel that he may, is he a public figure? I feel like maybe he is a public figure, or he was a public figure, and he was kind of a little bit slick, sly. Um, he's the kind of person that he, was wait, he waits on his prey. Um, he waits before he strikes. He seems like somebody who might even have an aggressive side to him. I'm also feeling that maybe he also had somebody else in mind as well. 
and I'll explain that in a minute. And then we have Okay, and I don't know, I just, and going down the side here, we have the ring. So, it feels like some kind of commitment that he has with the public, and Honey, I feel like there's he's committed to another woman. I'm feeling like maybe he was married and not telling you. I was it did he seem very secretive? I feel like he might be he might have been secretive because I'm feeling like commitment ring. This could also represent another woman. So I'm feeling like he had another commitment to an a, another woman. And then this is this snake is um, more of a transforming because as this snake transforms its skin so it's a little bit in a lighter sense of things but this happens tonight this skin this snake both snakes here and they knight each other so it feels like a transformative situation that transforming into something that maybe is not so pretty um, and, but at the same time, he was trying to commit to you, but I feel like there was, but there was a lot of arguing and I feel like it was repeated over and over again. He comes across as somebody who... I can't say not non-committal, but maybe a little bit flighty, maybe a little bit fickle. He commits and then he uncommits and he commits to somebody else. And at the same time, I feel like this is um, repeated motions in the public eye. Almost like a debater or something. I feel he's definitely in the public eye, I feel like. Okay. And the tree, the ending card is planting roots, tree grounding. It's also about health. And it's here with these birds. These are the, they're pictured as chickens. Um, it's like the being in the hen house. A lot of gabbing, a lot of gossiping, and it feels like maybe there's a lot of talk. People talking, people were talking about you. I'm feeling like that there is definitely another woman, and that he was committed to, that he wasn't telling you about, and there's a lot of gossip going on about him and you to this other woman. And I think that's part of the reason why he broke it off. He was trying to put the blame on you, but it's not on you. Um, the chickens also match up with the snake. So it's a, even some nasty talk. Some nasty gossip. I, you're better than that. I feel that you don't need to be, put yourself into that situation. Um... I wish I could say I felt that this was a fantastic opportunity for you. You know, that this it's all roses and stuff. But I would not be doing you justice. I have to tell you like I see it. And I feel like it is a toxic situation. It is not healthy at all. Um, and he's... Knighting this card and the snake. Is he in the public eye? Is, does he do bodybuilding or enter some kind of contests or something? That maybe he attracts the attention of other women? Or some kind of competitive sport maybe? 
but I feel like he's popular. I feel like he is a public figure in some sort. And I'm feeling like a ha he, strenuous exercise that it could be something with sports or something like that. Um, and the cards are telling me that you need to shed this situation. Um, this rain, this commitment is deeply rooted, um, family. So speaking of a family somewhere, a, a two snakes here, I feel I'm being told double life. I feel like he's been living a double life and you since you were the first card, I always put the first card in the middle when I do my drawing. You are the first card. And you're caught up in the middle of this whirlwind, this hurricane or tornado, whatever. It is just a whirlwind that you're all caught up in. And, and you're caught in between these two snakes. I do feel this is a very toxic situation. My advice is to walk away. I am going to draw a couple cards in addition to that from my Osho Zen Tarot. This is my Osho Zen Tarot deck. And I'm going to ask these cards also. What advice do you have for my client about this relationship? This, this is a tarot deck, but I I read it like an oracle because it seems to be set up more of an oracle type deck than a tarot deck. That's why I decided I was going to pull this out and see what the cards had to say about this. I'm, I'm probably going to pull a couple cards. I'm trying to shuffle them up really good because this is a new deck. And... Okay, we have a jumper. Breakthrough. Breakthrough is reminding me of that maybe this reading you'll have a breakthrough and an understanding of what's going on. Okay, it's feeling like that this is something that you needed to hear it's to and it's a transfer of breakdowns into breakthroughs so this breakdown on this relationship it's um it's i keep getting through that having a breakthrough having a revelation Maybe finally seeing the relationship for what it is. Okay. Um, and it's about coming up, coming to the conclusion of enough is enough. It's time to make changes. It's time to move past this. And again, it's telling me that you're better than this. You deserve better. Okay, Let's see what else comes up. I 
And when you break the number 11 down, it comes up with two, it means decisions. Okay, so I am also getting the message of making final decisions. And then we also have awareness. Awareness. Trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. Becoming aware of your surroundings. Becoming aware of the situation that you are in. And having a breakthrough, an epiphany, and knowing that you are better than that, that you deserve more. You deserve somebody who's really going to love you. You shouldn't have to share your man with somebody else. Okay? And we have receptivity. This is ex accepting the gift of new love. So, what the, the advice that Spirit is giving you through these cards is about... You, the whole situation, the Lenormand, that the, is not really an advice card deck. The Lenormand just sheds light, tells you what the situation really is. So there's definitely another woman. It's very toxic. There's a lot of gossip that, that was going on about the two of you, people going back to this other woman that he has been committed to for a very long time. Okay, a very deep committed relationship. And the two snakes, and you're caught right in the middle of it. And it's like being attacked from both sides, being attacked by the gossip and then hers on the other side. And it's, they're trying to make you out to be the scapegoat per se, the person at fault. And you're not, he's the one that was at fault. And see, he's in the public eye. I keep feeling he is in the public eye and he has to show good public appearance. And there's a lot of gossip going on. And if that gets out, it gets into the media or local newspapers or local news feeds or Facebook, or whatever, it could be damaging to his reputation. And so he cut you off saying that you were too much for him. He didn't explain that. You being too much for him meant that you're an extra person. You need to go. And he has to concentrate on his committed relationship. And these cards are saying that maybe finally you, with this reading, with the advice, you follow this. Maybe you've already felt this and you've had a breakthrough. And that's, that's probably the reason for the reading to begin with. Enough is enough. You've had enough. It's time for you to break free. This is about breaking free and letting your light shine. Breaking free of this oppressive situation. Becoming aware Okay, this is awareness. This is knowing what's before you. This is tapping into that intuitive side of you, that creative side, and moving past this and, le and, and letting yourself heal and leaving yourself open for new opportunities. I feel there's new opportunities in the area of love, and you have to get rid of this situation so that you'll be free and open to receive something so much deeper and so much better. Something that you deserve. You deserve so much better than this. So I do hope that this reading has helped you. And if you have any questions, please do message me on Etsy and I will answer them. And anybody else that would like a reading, again, visit my Etsy shop, www mysticgen.com that's my domain name it goes directly to my Etsy and I will see you later and thank you for watching